This is from Bernadette EC, 1968. If you could play alongside a player from the current Jules team, who would it be? Uh, I, don't, I don't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I know you've got the big lad up front. What's the Akin Akin Fenwa. Akin Fenwa. I know you got him because Martin was telling me in the summer. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with Bale. I want to get one. this Akin Fenwa. He said I want to get him from Northampton. <laughs> is he gonna, that's the lad, isn't it? That's the one. Yeah. yeah. He said I want to get this Akin Fenwa. He's a big lad because he's a local lad as well, isn't he? He's, he's he has been, yeah, he yeah. Does, doesn't live too so, far away. I'll go for Akin Fenya. Yeah. Oh, sorry, <laughs> don't worry, it's not a lot of problem. <laughs> this is from uh, FOM underscore blog. If Gillingham gained promotion to the second division back in 1987, how far do you think the club could have gone? Um, Difficult to say, I guess. Wow. Uh, in 87, the still the, you know, the finances of Gillingham at that time and the clubs at that level were still they were very strained so I, I think Ginnam evolved very slowly and had to I don't think there was ever going to be a quick wham bam and someone come in and throw loads of money and I just didn't think it was going to work like that so I think it's gradual it's been a gradual process um, I don't know like, I think it would have been a boom and bust club personally I think it had done what Portsmouth had done and other clubs I, I'm glad it hasn't I'm, glad, I'm really glad that hasn't been the case with Ginnam because a lot of clubs in the, the south East regions have done that from the Brightons, the Southamptons, the Portsmouth. Many clubs have done that, been guilty of the same crime. You know, Bournemouth mm-hmm. have jumped in very, very quickly. Where luckily, Julian have managed to just steady that shit. Okay, uh, this is from at Stan Chuka 2. Realistically, where do you think the club will finish up at the end of this season? Um, well, it's easy to say now that you know, obviously, promotion seems a long way off. I'd like to think that Martin would get them mid table. I really do. I'd like to think that by the end of the season, you look back and you say, hey, from a difficult start, we learned our lessons, we went up a level, and then build from there. Because I think expectations, sometimes when you've been promoted, and they were champions last mm-hmm. year, didn't they? Absolutely. In the manner they won the league, people think you're just going to go straight through the divisions. Well, in the odd case, that does happen. But personally, I think it's, it's far more constructive if you can just keep building on what you've got, gradual, and not get too excited and too carried away. And, um, so hopefully mid-table this year and work on from next year. Uh, Dom GFC Ballard asks, what's the one team when you were playing that really pumped you up before a match? Pumped us up? Mm. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? In the team I played for or the team played against? against? Oh, uh, well in them day, I mean Oxford, when we played against Oxford, I mean they were, they were Jim Smith manager and they had two lads at the centre half, um, oh, Shotton. Oh, what's the other night guy's name? Oh, there's two of them. They were absolutely crazy. They were always willing to kick hell out of you. Absolutely. Oxford had a really powerful team in them, in them days. Physically Im- immense. Um, so <laughs> they, I always got pretty intimidated by them. And finally, from at Nader94, who did you prefer playing with? Niall Quinn or Teddy Sherman? Um, I've never been a fan of asking them type of questions because it's a bit unfair because... Different qualities. Okay. Different qualities and just, I mean, Teddy, Teddy was an, I, I don't know one centre forward who's played badly with him. <laughs> if you look at everywhere he's played, I said he's one of his best qualities that every club you look at, whether it was Klinsman with Tottenham, whether it was Shearer with England, whether it was me with Millwall or whether it was York or Cole at Man United, Teddy has just excelled with them. So I've always said he's the complete player in what he gives the partnership. Where Noel was very effective, you know. Um, did me and Noel suit each other? Not as much as me and Teddy, no. I, so I'd probably edge towards Teddy. But taking nothing away from uh, Quinny's qualities, because um, he could be a real, real handful in different, different ways, depending on how you set your team up. Cool. That's fantastic, Tony. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks Cheers again. again. That's great. Cheers.